Good day, everyone. I uh, hope you are all having a good day. Today, I'm just going to make a quick little video of grading every current track on the Cup Series schedule. Again, these are my opinions. Your opinion could very likely be different, so uh, let me know. I'm just going to go in alphabetical order. So starting with Auto Club, I gave a C+. Uh, obviously, in recent news, it's been announced that it's going to be a short track, but this C+, plus is for the two-mile configuration. Um, it's not a bad race. It's certainly had some exciting racing. It's kind of dampered by the current package for the uh, bigger and mile and a half tracks, but you can't really blame that on the track. Overall, it's not a bad track, but I'm definitely much more excited for it to be a short track. Next up is Bristol. Uh, Bristol got an A from me. Obviously, it's Bristol. It has some of the most exciting racing on the whole schedule. Uh, two group Bristol isn't as bad as everyone thought it might be either. It's definitely created some good racing. Next up, uh, the Charlotte one and a half mile. I gave a B. Obviously, it's home to the 600 mile race, which is one of NASCAR's best uh, races of the year. Obviously, the current mile and a half package has kind of hurt the racing at a lot of the mile and a half race tracks. But uh, overall, it's a good track and I gave it a B. The Charlotte Roval is next. I gave a B plus. Uh, the only reason it didn't get an A is because it's too early to truly tell how the races will turn out. But uh, the first couple races have certainly been exciting. Next up is Chicagoland. I gave a C. My only comment was the word blah. Uh, obviously, some of it, again, is to do with the current package. But overall, it's not a great racetrack. Next up, the Lady in Black, Darlington. I gave a B. Uh, it's a good racetrack, obviously historic. Uh, the racing isn't bad. I think it definitely could be better. But the race is just always something I look forward to. Some people say the Southern 500 is too long. I personally disagree. Next up is Daytona, the uh, obviously the bigger track. I gave that an A. Obviously, it's a home to the Daytona 500, which is the biggest race of the year and has produced very a lot of amazing finishes, that's for sure. Next up is the Daytona Road Course, which obviously they tried for the first time this year and next year will be the Clash. I gave that a B plus. It's much like the Charlotte Roval. It's just kind of too early to see how the course will actually be, but uh, I didn't mind this year's race. Uh, next up is Dover. I give a B minus. Honestly, I used to love Dover, but the last maybe five years, the racing just hasn't been as good in my opinion, which is probably to do with the package. But um, I hope that maybe we'll uh, get back to a better package and better racing at Dover. It's obviously had its share fair, uh, fair share sorry, of crazy wrecks, and that's always exciting in a way too. Uh, next up is Homestead. Uh, I gave Homestead a B. I actually really like Homestead. It's going to be weird not having the championship race there. But for a mile and a half track, it always creates good racing. Uh, next up is Indy, uh, the Brickyard. I gave a B, unpopular opinion, but I really like it. And I think some of the racing there the last five years have actually been really exciting. Obviously, the 2008 Goodyear Tire... Uh, Incident uh, has dampered a lot of people's opinion, but I personally like the Brickyard. Next up is Kansas. Uh, once again, my only comment was blah. It's a fairly recent, fairly new uh, racetrack, but uh, again, I think the package has kind of hurt my view of it. It's definitely capable of having good races, but I gave it a C. Next up, Kentucky. I got a C plus for Kentucky. It's obviously the one of the more new track is, tracks as well. But I just, I, it's not a bad track. It's just, I think they could have went to better places. Next up is Las Vegas. I gave a B minus for a mile half track. It's actually produced a lot of good races. Obviously it's a, in a very important place being Las Vegas and it brings a lot of outside attention to. Um, Nothing really to complain about. It's pretty much a generic mile and a half track, but that's not always bad. 
Uh, next up is Martinsville. I gave Martinsville an A+. It pretty much speaks for itself. It's always exciting, and I always look forward to the races there. Next up is Michigan. Michigan, sorry. I gave a B. Good racing. Uh, wrong package, obviously. I think they probably only need to go there once a year. That's my opinion, but I gave it a B. I personally like it. Uh, next up is New Hampshire. I gave a C-, uh, which is a very tough grade, and considering that's the track I live closest to, you think I might be biased, but my only comment for New Hampshire was boring, which I'm sure I will be proved wrong this year just because I said that, but uh, it's not my most look it's not my most favorite track that's for sure it's uh capable of good racing but for the most part it's definitely boring for me next up is phoenix i gave a b uh definitely good racing at phoenix it's going to be neat to have it as the championship racetrack this year and i'm sure it will put on a good race next up is pocono I gave a C plus for Pocono. Most people would give it, give it an F, but uh, another unpopular opinion for me, I actually don't mind Pocono at all. Next up is Richmond. I gave it a B, which is a little low for a short track, but sometimes I really find Richmond actually a little boring. It's definitely put on some good races, but lately it's been a little boring for me. Next up is Sonoma. I gave Sonoma an A. I love road courses. It puts on good races. Obviously, it's in California, so it brings out some um, people who usually won't get to go to an NASCAR race, and I just find Sonoma a really good track. Next up is Talladega. I gave a B plus. Obviously, known for its great finishes and good racing. Uh, the only reason it didn't get an A like Daytona is because, obviously, Daytona has a five... 500, the Daytona 500. Next up is Texas. I gave a C minus. Once again, my only comment was blah. It's capable of good races, but the package has really hurt mile and a half, and I just don't particularly like it that much. Uh, and lastly, it's Walk Watkins Glen, sorry, which I gave it an A plus. It's personally my favorite track. Uh, just great racing, great great everything. I love Watkins Glen. I uh, definitely hope to go there one day. So that's my uh, quick rundown of every track on the Cup Series schedule. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments section. Thank you for watch watching and have a great day.